Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? It is your boy Ed back again with another WWE Supercard video for you today. So in this video guys, before I get started, of course I gotta shout out my legends. So let's first off shout out some legends. Bam! These legends subscribed to me recently. Thank you guys so so much for all your support. These legends. Mm. Hey, 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 hey. Shout out to these legends over here too. Thank you guys so much for your continuing support. You damn legends. I love you legends. So I bet some of you are wondering, hey Ed, how can I become on that list and become a legend? Well, you want to know how to get on that list, huh? Want to know how to get on that list? All you have to do is subscribe to the channel, brand new subscriber, and make sure your account on YouTube is public. And you know what? You just might make the list. Thank you very much. I love you, Jericho. Anyways, guys, let's get into the video. In the video, I'm going to be talking mostly because uh, gameplay-wise, we got nothing. I will have my WoW Wednesday stuff and Infusion at the end of the video. But we have the Road to Glory out. And uh, we get Roman Reigns, which is a pro for me. So that's kind of cool. Like, hey, a pro Roman Reigns. It's not bad at all. Unfortunately, you know, base cards are just not good in this game as we've seen with Kevin Nash and Scott Hall being so overpowered. Money in the banks are gonna be overpowered. So base cards honestly just don't serve a purpose unless it's like for your Road to Glory deck. It's unfortunate and sad, but the card is The Undertaker and I love it. I love The Undertaker, great. I wish we could have the American badass image on this card, but you know, there's so many great images on Undertaker, it's gonna be hard for me to pick the right one for this card. So that is the Road to Glory. Uh, no one will know the heroic side until tomorrow. I'll probably share that on stream if I uh, if we should be streaming tomorrow anyway. So you guys can come check that out to see who the heroic side is. All right. Now let's get into what we all want to hear about. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So we're going to talk mostly of this video about gear. Coming from someone who knows how to play the game properly and stuff, I pretty much can give you my best advice and all the stuff you need to know about gears. I'm pretty sure maybe some of you most will know understand it, but maybe some of you may not understand it. So let me just try to help you out. As we all know, only WrestleMania 36 cards can use gear. And then other cards after it will be able to use gear. So here's gonna be my advice. So as you see, we do have a quest right now. Now this quest is not gonna be easy peasy lemon squeezy. Uh, what you're gonna want to do though is to make it easier. Perfect Pro card is honestly the easiest thing here and earn a catalog star. Just go through your catalogs, find three monsters, three beasts that you haven't pro Titan or WrestleMania 34s, find something that you haven't pro yet and uh, that's how you can earn your stars. Also, you can also just play the Road to Glory if you don't have any of those cards. Go for it, of course. That would help. Obviously, Undertaker would be a brand new star. Roman might be a brand new star and if it's not, it's a pro, it's another star. So there's many ways that you could get this done. Uh, the Obtain of WrestleMania 36 card, obviously you just go for Roman Reigns in the Road to Glory. You're all set, you're done with that quest, or you could just get a pull, why not? Now this is where I think most people are gonna have their problems with the resets and the draft picks. So in my opinion guys, doing the draft picks is actually not that bad. Play Elimination Chamber like I'm doing, get all the picks possible, you should be Gucci and you'll get 100 resets in no time, or even wait for Road to Glory. And then play the Money in the Bank. Wait until tomorrow where that changes from Money in the Bank or Road to Glory, so you pay 75 matches. You'll get that easily done, and you'll be done with this. So this quest honestly will take most people until tomorrow. If you're dedicated, you could finish this quest tomorrow easily if you do all the correct steps. So that would be my advice. And you get a Vanguard of WrestleMania 36. I think this should have been a little better but i can understand why they're doing this i've seen a lot of people pull these off the board easily like no problem like vanguards and royal rumbles but you know i guess that's not bad so i guess i should get talking about like what do these gears do and stuff for you guys so let's go ahead and get into that i'm taking this screenshot from my boy geezer because he is a lad as you can see he does have a shirt vanguard which gives 28k in charisma so Pretty much, you play 50 matches to unlock one perk, and then you play 100 matches to unlock the second perk. His first perk was 57,000, 
57k charisma and 51k to power which honestly guys is incredible it's a vanguard for god's sakes a vanguard just imagine wrestlemania 36 gears imagine that guys if you want my recommendation save these for only your event cards and special cards these are worthless for your base cards i know they'll be a little more powerful but my recommendation if you can't pull a lot of these save them for the wrestlemania events and stuff my advice so he played all the 100 matches on the card, and that's what his card looks like. Now, here's something that you that when you probably don't know. When you're playing the game, it's going to be random on what you get. So, Geezer, I saw Geezer's screenshot, and this is what you can possibly get. He obviously got the low end of the charisma, toughness, whatever he got, power. He got the low end, but as you can see there, there's a high end as well of 100 thousand in every stat besides toughness pretty much or a, instead of a five percent you get a seven percent a 56k ability proc extra which is pretty much like an lms proc at the same time when you think about it so you get these stats on your card now each card is going to be random you don't know which one you're going to get however by paying credits yes I, you heard me right <laughs> i'm so sorry by paying credits, you could change your ability and shuffle it and hope to get something better. Now, my opinion is, if you're going to do it, do it on a WrestleMania card. It makes the most sense. But I don't know how much they cost. It could be expensive as hell. I would say just hopefully when you get when you pull one, you get lucky to hit something you want. Because if it's expensive, this is just, just, this just ain't it. All right? Spenders are going to have fun with this. I tell you that right now. They're going to enjoy this feature. Because, but if it costs anywhere above 500 credits to shuffle, oh boy. But yeah, I don't know the information yet on that. I probably ask Geezer, probably leave in the comments down below, to ask him like how how much did it cost to shuffle. But yeah, those that's how gear is going to work. I actually do enjoy this besides the whole credit part. But yeah, we'll have to wait and see how this plays out. But I kind of like it. It's just the credit part that scares the shit out of me because. Knowing that credit spenders can just pretty much get all the best stats possible, it's just going to be really bad for me because then I, I need to pray. <laughs> and with procs being broken, you don't even want procs right now because they're still broken and they haven't fixed it yet. We thought they would be fixing it today and then apparently they said, oh, never mind. It's going to be in a future update. And you're like, oh, well, shit, that sucks. But anyways, guys, that's all I have for today's video. Uh, uh, for this part of the video, we're going to actually do my Wild Wednesday now. And we're going to do my NWO Fusion to end it off. Uh, let's go there right now. All right, you guys. This is my last Fusion. Don't mind the mark on my face from my mask. It is a tight mask. But yeah, guys, this is my final Fusion will i get one from these fusions i'm owen 17 owen 16 uh i just don't think i'm gonna get it i really don't think so i think i'm happy that i got four from the packs that i had to pay for but yeah me getting one for free nope it's just not possible and we end the fusions in the worst way possible. These fusions were terrible. Outright terrible. Thank God it's over. Thank God. Now, for the other bad thing I don't like about Wednesday is Wild Wednesday. Because I never get anything good from Wild Wednesday. So we'll go ahead and claim all these rewards. So uh, our trainers were bad. I can't claim the tickets, as you guys know, I'm at a thousand something tickets, so I can't claim them until later tomorrow. <laughs> uh, maybe we'll get a WrestleMania support. We do get a WrestleMania support. Unfortunately, it's not a manager, so it's useless. But hey, it's a new star, I guess. And now we're going to get the usual Primal, Vanguard, and Royal Rumble pack that I always get every week. So I was one off. One primal was the Vanguard. <laughs> Close enough. I, I'm just not a fan of these Wild Wednesdays. Uh, to be honest, I'm not even a fan of the base for so many cards because after seeing all of the stats, they're just not that great. 
So yeah, uh, Rikishi F2 or F3. Who cares? So that will do it for today's video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and be public. And you just may make the list. It. List. I'll see you on the next episode, guys. Thank you. Have a good one. Peace out, boys.